the pleasant surprise to me is you know how the project was uh, structured uh, it was structured in such a way that first the teacher educators were trained we never expected that we would get a training uh, from uh, uh, the uh, from the experts uh, and then we will be involved uh, in the data collection process development of resources and then uh, the uh, uh, the uh, uh, collection I think there's so much uh, so many areas to to highlight but the most important thing is um, the ability to embrace um, the project and to have a clear understanding of the major components of the project. Uh, the teacher educators had clear understanding and that was reflected in the way they interface and interact with the teachers in the field. So that's one very clear aspect of uh, learning. Two, I think the teacher educators as well as the teachers, the component for community of practice stand out in this project. Uh, from the Nigerian perspective, everyone has been using WhatsApp, Telegram group. But nobody thought it can be used for an academic purpose like this and for training and retraining of teachers where people can acquire skills. And so it was quite interesting. The teachers, I mean the teacher educators were able to stay alert on the platform, initiate prompts and then respond to teachers' queries. The project also had been very uh, significant for the teachers. Uh, for the teachers, uh, especially because the opportunity to go use uh, OERs, uh, online uh, modules being created by the teacher educators. Uh, besides uh, getting an opportunity to enhance their content knowledge, I think they specifically learned about uh, how to see the participation of the teachers, including teachers in the remote, remote areas, where previously they had the ICT infrastructure, but they, which they did not know could be useful in the in teaching and learning situation. They followed it through their mobile phones, through their laptops, and the many other resources, ICT resources, which we were available. Uh, that uh, helped to make it a kind of success, which uh, maybe we did not expect. But it, it happened. This is one such a good package, no, which should reach to all the teachers, no, in different corners of Bhutan. The policy documents which emphasizes the use of no ICT. There are uh, policy do documents on no making uh, classroom practices very inclusive. But then practically, no, we had not been able to do. And then the OER that we developed could really, uh, no, help us to practically apply and then support teachers in their professional developments in three different big, uh, no areas, content enhancement, use of ICT, and then the inclusive pedagogies. Has exposed many of us to new dimension, new understanding about management of uh, international projects. And uh, to that extent, I think, uh, to me, uh, it's again that I've uh, seen myself to have acquired uh, respect to enhancing my capacity towards international management of projects and of course we're engaging on international research. So open educational research was one indeed a good component of this uh, project and I would say that continuity on this part extending beyond the uh, district that currently the project involved would be the most important thing that we need to focus on. The other thing is the concept of UDL, Universal Design Learning, uh, is one important new concept that Bhutan is uh, currently going through, uh, educational reformation, and this is very much aligned with uh, the educational reform in the country. For me, to learn, with, uh, to learn and work with partners from other countries where we met, make friendships and also work. The type of the data and also the amount of the data which was collected in all these countries, that was very pleasant. And how the data is presented 
how it is organized, how it is analyzed. I, it is something which I learned so much more and which is very important for me, myself, and also for my university. When this OER came up and then when, when we could really produce uh, no, the models and then that time only I could feel like yes we have accomplished something. No? So it took a long time actually. You know, at times we were confused. So that was the most surprise and I realized that no, so virtually also we can do many things. Uh, we can do many things. So we could curate the model virtually. All these knowledge transfer phases took place online and many things about research, meetings, so uh, no, we had to run this entire program mostly virtually so uh, so that was <laughs> the surprise <laughs> and then but I feel like we accomplished many things and then no so now once the final report goes out and I think that no many countries will look up to this innovation and then uh, we will also uh, no, uh, plan for scaling up in our countries.